think racism is dumb. It needs to be said. I feel like it needs to be repeated. It's such a simple statement, but it's not a simple statement at all. You know, when we all cut our skin open, we all have one thing in common. HPV. <laughs> if you didn't laugh at that joke, get tested. Um, you have it. That's what I'm trying to say. You all have it. I think the transgender bathroom debate is dumb. I think if we're gonna separate bathrooms, it should be between people who clean up after themselves <laughs> and people who don't. Yeah. I am sick of these big urethra ass bitches <laughs> just spraying everything. <laughs> and I gotta use the bathroom after you. What's wrong with you, bitch? You're disgusting. Use a men's room, you're an animal. One lady, yeah. Really got her going. Um, man, I do, I feel for trans women though, I do. Especially trans women of color. This shit is fucked up out here. Um, and every time something happens with trans women, the dudes, the dudes, they always say, she tricked me. She tricked me. She didn't trick you. You tricked yourself. Right, because men have these standards for women, cis hetero women. We've always had these standards. And nowadays, cis hetero women, we don't follow them anymore. Look at this goofy outfit. <laughs> Ain't no dude like, damn. Look at those Ghostbuster pants. <laughs> damn, she ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> There's no dude saying that. Look at this haircut. Dudes are like, damn. I don't know what they would say about this hair. I don't want to know living out my, my best life out here for myself. But trans women, they choose and that's, that's their choice. They do, the, they do the wish list, you know, they get the long weave, they do the lips, they get the fake titties, they get the fake ass, right? They do the outfit and that's their prerogative, good for them. And what else can the bitch do real good? She can suck a dick. <laughs> and why can she suck a dick real good? She had one or she has one. I can't do what that bitch does. I don't know what she knows. <laughs> you guys really tighten up on this one. But it's true, think about it. You know how I learned how to suck a dick? Watching gay male porn. Yeah, that's a fact. I wasn't searching for the shit, okay? But I would go out dancing at the gay clubs down in LA. There's especially the Tuesday, Manhole Tuesdays at the Mother Load. Oh my God, it's the funnest night. <laughs> I'd go in my early 20s and I would go out. And it, first of all, but, right, round of applause. How many straight women have gone to a gay club to go dancing? Yeah, it's the funnest shit. If you've never been, you should fucking go, bitch. It's so fun. No matter what you look like, they're just giving you compliments. You can walk in there looking like shit. And those dudes are like, yes, you serve in hobo realness. <laughs> You're on the thicker side, they're like, work them Tootsie Rolls, bitch. <laughs> they do a suicide drop. It's very dramatic. <laughs> it's so fun. Go. Get a compliment. Uh, but I would go out dancing every Tuesday, and you know, I was like real innocent in my early 20s. And so I was just like minding my own business, not realizing that this particular bar was covered in televisions playing gay male porn. <laughs> and I, it was a surprise. I was out dancing, I was like, oh, I'm having so much fun. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm supposed to do that? I gotta do all that? What's going on over here? I gotta do that to those? I gotta do that? Went home, sucked the best dick of my life. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, ladies, suck a dick like you have one. <laughs> Did way better last night. You guys failed me tonight. I thought you guys were the joint. You weren't. You fake open-minded. <laughs> Typical San Francisco. I'm extremely progressive. Wait a minute, a new concept? I don't know. <laughs> I 
you're using offensive words in an order I've never heard them before. I don't know. San Francisco in a nutshell. 